Hi everyone, Shaplight here. Since the roster overview for Rango vs F2 is taking a bit longer than expected, I'm putting this up to entertain you in the meantime. The overview video should be finished within a few days. Right now, I'm gonna slap some magnetic coating onto a Bjarland, and let's go reenact some stuff from Unicorn. Well then, uh, let's start with the bit from uh, from the start of the Torrington scene, I mean, the Torrington base infiltration scene. You know where the uh, Zizulus arrive and uh, Bjarland starts wreaking havoc? Yep, and I've set the pilots to random, so that's why you have uh, Shard, that's why you have uh, Efren from Seed for some reason, then you've got uh, the Kabul, then you've got. Uh, oh! You know, these random ones. Anyway, so. I got swarmed, uh, I got swarmed by these, and uh, I was too late to realize that the Zogog has, has a stunning thing, so, yep, gonna make a quick escape, and uh, got the Kapil, got the Zogog, I've put some reinforced armor on the Zogog so that it won't be so cannon foddery, and a little side note to the PR land in Gundam Assault Survive, it's, uh, it's got terrible armor. Just as a point of reference, I had to shove uh, quite a lot of uh, tuning points to get it even to the, you know, to not die after a 3v1 match. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, pushing some offensive on the Kabul. I tried to do the, you know, the bit where where the Bjarland just jumps into the air and turns around and shoots down from above, which looked pretty badass. Ooh, now I threw some bird, uh, I threw some bird lime on the Zogok, and now he's gonna get a little, well, a little more beams going its way. Ooh, last 60 seconds. As you can see, I'm trying to dodge every single shot, even though I you know, I do have a blind spot since, as you can see, I'm getting shot at from like three different directions and the radar isn't as effective. Ooh, I managed to land a bird lime shot and, uh, yeah, now I'm gonna get at least one of them. So, a few more dodges. I somehow dodged into the wall, but in Unicorn uh, it, uh, it dodged through the wall, so yeah, I'll let your imagination add that part into there. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get that capul. And, uh, yeah, I've killed at least one of each. At least one time. So, yeah, that's for the first battle. Now, on to the second one. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go through the menu. And, uh, this is gonna be the part that's, uh, you know, when they got uh, into the city, even though I do not have a desert Galgoog. So, what we're going with is gonna be the Galgoog Cannon, the Gallus J, and the Marasai on a base jabber. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have stuff from Unicorn, as you might have noticed. Like, the Bjarland is from Zeta. But, yeah, I've tried my best to recreate it. Oop. Got the, got the Gallus. Galgo cannons trying to give me trouble, but I've ended up recipro reciprocate. Yeah, reciprocating. Ooh, uh, words and I are not on the friendliest of terms today. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get the Marisai to lose uh, the to lose the base jabber. Landed uh, landed a few bird limes on that. But unfortunately, it was not enough to stop it completely while my Mega Particle can reload it. So, yeah, now I'm just dodging and viewing and trying to trying to get them all. So, bep, missed, bep, 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 got them. Now this one's kind of slow, so I guess that one's going to be next on the plate. Ooh, missed that melee. Ate some of my own, and uh, that's a Marisai. Let's 
let's give it a little floor wipe, shall we? So, yeah, it's stunned. And woo, it used the dummies. Fortunately for me, I dodged one of its strikes and... Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, whiffing a melee in this game is quite fatal at occasions, so... I guess that's what it did, and uh, yeah, I did definitely capitalize on that. Anyways, I'm gonna get this one, and uh, ooh, this should be the last few seconds of the round, so... I'm gonna get this one, gonna put some pressure on the Gato, ooh, last 30 seconds. Okay, I'll try to trap the Galgo cannon to make targeting much easier. Because yes, you can uh, kind of hold the fire key to increase accuracy, but you know, it's rather cumbersome. Then again, this is a PSP game. And uh, yeah, I suppose this will be the last few hits I'm gonna land this round. And yeah, uh, so... Long story short, this is that's it for the fill in and shirtlight signing out.